Hello, my name is Lewis Tadman, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the BNB Auto Reporter tool. What this tool is, is it's a tool which helps you automate the process of generating and emailing out and distributing HP ALM Excel reports. How this works is using the Windows Task Scheduler along with the BNB Auto Reporter tool to choose which reports you want to generate and when you want to email them out on a schedule. So let's take a little look at the, the end result of installing and configuring and using the BNB Auto Reporter and then we'll dive into how you set it up and a little bit more details about the application itself. Alright, as you'll see here we have manually created a folder in our task schedule or library called BNB Auto Reporter and all that we're doing here is we're creating Windows scheduled tasks to run the BNB Auto Reporter application and we pass in four arguments to determine which HP ALM domain, which HP ALM project, along with the report name and who we want to email and CC the report to. Once those arguments are passed in to the application and you choose to set up a schedule for this application to be run, then it will automatically log into HP ALM at that time, grab all live real-time data, manually build the Excel report for you, and then email it to whom you wish. So first what we're going to do is we're just going to run this application and see what the end result looks like. We're going to be logging into an HP ALM project and running a report which I'll show you really quick. Alright, so I'm authenticated to HP ALM and as you can see right here we have a domain called Lewis Projects and the project name is Lewis Sandbox 2. We will log into this project and we'll take a look at the report that we're about to run. Um, it's actually quite a robust detailed thorough analysis of defects. In doing such we have a good amount of data that we query along with a bunch of post-processing that adds some very cool features to the report. So this report right here you can see the query and we also have a bunch of post-processing code right here as well. So there's our defect analysis report that we're going to generate. Alright, now we're going to run the report, passing in the arguments that have already been set with this task, and see what the end result is. You can see the first step is establishing connection to HP ALM. We have a config file which we have previously set up that contains the data needed to authenticate to HPLM as well as the SMTP server. So that's a one-time setup. Uh, the passwords are hashed and stored in the file system in the, in the directory installation. And as you can see, all we have to do is pass in a domain, a project, a report name, as well as who we want to email the report to, and then let the BNB Auto Reporter application handle the rest. As you can see, the report has been generated. Our content has been queried from ALM and built in Excel using the HP Auto Report application and using the SMTP credentials. We have sent it out. All right, now let's take a look at the email. As you can see, I have a filter set on my inbox to only look at emails sent for me by the BNB Auto Reporter application. We'll take a look and see what we have here. Now, this is the email explaining what the BNB Auto Reporter is, giving our contact information in case you have any comments, questions, concerns, enhancements, or would like to report any defects to us. We have a contact us form built in right here. Just send us the information if you would be so kind. And as far as the information contained with your report, shows you the exact report that you generated the report name and the time it was generated and of course the most important part is having the report attached to this email. So we can take a look at this defect report here. It's a quite robust very deep analysis of the entire defect life cycle within our template project and we're really proud of being able to help you automate the process of sending out your reports.
So hopefully this tool will be very valuable for you. And here's the report that was generated. It's an analysis of all of the defects of a certain category, severity and priority heat maps, and a nice little comparison right there. And now I'm sure you're all wondering how you can take advantage of this great tool and how you go about setting it up. And that's what we'll take a look at right now. All you have to do is just log on to our website and request the installer from us. We will send you the BNB Auto Reporter. It comes as a zip. And we'll extract it right here to the desktop. You can see this is the BNB Auto Reporter Beta version 1.0. Inside of the directory, we have a user guide which also details the process of installation. Has some pretty good stuff right there for you. There are some considerations such as setting up an HPALM user account to use with the auto reporter, making sure you have the correct credentials for your SMTP server, etc., etc. Read through the user guide and that will detail everything you need to have configured and set up. And we also have a readme file here that shows the very basics of configuring and using the auto reporter once it's installed. All right, first things first, we want to go to our installation directory and make sure we completely uninstall the auto reporter. All right, now we'll take a look at the file system and verify that we do not have the BNB auto reporter installed. We'll go through the installation process and show you how things build out. BNB auto reporter gets installed to the program files x86 directory. Now all we do is we run the MSI installer and follow along. We'll begin the process. Uh, we must agree to the end user license agreement, which is also attached in the rich text format in the installation directory if you wanted to read it in uh, document format. You click next. You choose the install directory and whom you wish to install this for. For now, I'm going to leave it just for me and I'm going to install it again to the x86 BNB LLC directory. Um, you should be able to install this program to the D or C drive, respectively. As long as it's in that BNB auto reported directory, you will be good to go. Alright, this is the configuration form as part of uh, the configuration wizard that is a part of the installation. You don't have to fill this information out now. You can always launch this from the install directory uh, in the case that you need to update it. But essentially, you fill out your SMT SMTP server information. Uh, what technologies you're using, um, SSL is enabled, the port, server host name, username, user password. If you are using the HP ALM SMTP server, you can use a site administrator username and password, and that will work as well. If you're using Google's SMTP server, chances are you're going to need to enable SSL and configure it on port 587. Again, we have a, <clears throat> some links right here where you can email us and report issues or enhancements that you need requested. Uh, last but not least, you put in a ALM server URL as well as a site administrator username and password. That username and password will need to be added to the projects for which the reports you want to generate. Once you filled in this information, and I will just enter in a little bit, All right, so we have the information all filled in, and we will save the configuration file, and when we are done, we will close out, and the installation wizard will complete. Now we'll go investigate the installation directory and take a look at what we got. Now we have our BNB LLC folder and our BNB auto reporter. So again, we have our configuration wizard if we ever need to launch it again and reconfigure our file. And here is our BNB auto reporter. It is a command line application, so of course you would want to call this application via command line and pass in the arguments that are needed that we saw in the first part of this video. Uh, last but not least, we have our config file. This config XML file is used every time we generate a report. It will grab our information, and as you can see, the password for our user has been hashed and is stored here 
uh, safely. I'm, of course, for security reasons, not going to show you a live actual config file. I will replace this. But as you can see, the config file is where all of that long-term storage information goes that is needed in every report generation. Again, we have our docs, which has a license agreement and our user guide. And we have a media folder for application media, as well as this reports folder. This reports folder becomes very cool. It will always store the latest copy of the last report that you ran. So if you have 100 reports and you're running 100 reports with the BNB Auto Runner, it will always have the latest, newest version of that report as last generated save here. As you can see, there is nothing in this directory at the moment. If we were to run a report, it would be stored right there. So that's that. Once you've installed the application, you're free to run it with the command prompt, and away you go. We hope this tool is a very valuable addition to your ALM repertoire. And we've had many requests from many of our clients saying that automation of reporting is a necessity in today's enterprise QA world. And we're proud and pleased to be able to bring that to you. So thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any comments or feedback. Take care.